June 17th, day 23. Uh, a little north of 39. We've got our westerlies now. Definitely got our westerlies. We are sailing a reach on a rum line course for Cape Flattery at better than six knots over the ground, according to the GPS. Uh, the weather is fine. We're getting intermittent sunshine. It's warm. It's relatively dry. Well, I should say relatively warm because it's actually fairly chilly. Uh, wind chill factor has got us down pretty cold here, but there's blue sky out there and uh, crew is in good spirits. Uh, boat is sailing well. Uh, we got some sunshine for the solar panels to help uh, charge up our batteries a little bit. And things are going well. We're making wonderful progress. We're in, uh, feeling good and enjoying a fine sail this morning. Uh, this morning found us in uh, good conditions, dry boat, and generally feeling pretty pretty good about ourselves. It looks like um, we have a bet, Laura and I. Uh, I say we'll make landfall on the 29th, the morning of the 29th. Laura says we'll be at uh, Port Angeles on the 28th. So. Uh, either way is good. Either way is good. Um, but uh, I think my math is maybe a little bit better than hers, although she is the optimist in the crew. So we shall see. Stay tuned. And Chuck's not seasick anymore. Huh? And Chuck's not seasick anymore. Oh, and Chuck's not seasick anymore. Well, Chuck hasn't been seasick for about 36 hours. That doesn't mean he's done being seasick. That just means he hasn't been seasick for about 36 hours. Uh, but still, that's 21 straight days of seasickness. So, you know, a new personal record. 21 straight days, my God. <laughs> but feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good right now. Uh, breakfast of oatmeal and hot cocoa really starts the day off right these cold weather. I dug up my gloves, my sailing gloves. Help keep my hands a little warmer. Uh, feet have been perpetually wet and cold for more than a week. Um, who knows, maybe I'll get my socks dry today. Maybe not, I don't know. But I wanna, I wanna take this opportunity to thank uh, Stormy Seas and Grundens for uh, foul weather gear that doesn't leak, even if it's funky, you know, commercial fisherman style stuff. Now I know why they wear it. It doesn't leak. Not that fancy yachting crap, you know, that costs $800 for a suit. Um, that's Grundens and Stormy Seas. Stormy Seas, by the way, I have to thank for my goat roper hat. Both of us have goat ropers. Uh, they're wonderful things in this cold weather. Um, so, once again, we've learned a lot, and uh, all I have to say is it's all good. Yay. Hey. Hey. Hey.